This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Imagine never having to stress about focusing your lens accurately or quickly. A world where you can be guaranteed every photo will be in focus without having to fiddle with your lens. Well, in this video, I'll be sharing what I've learned through a technique called zone focusing, which will allow you to be more accurate, more precise, and more reactionary in your photography. This is what I consider to be the ultimate skill to practice for street photography and will pretty much allow you to never miss a moment. Let's get started. All right, so in this video, we're gonna be talking about zone focusing, but more importantly, a singular tip that I often use pretty much every single time I go out on the street uh, to make sure that I nail focus. It's a tip that's gonna save you a lot of time, uh, and if you already have zone focusing down, it's very easy to implement into your everyday shooting, man. Now, before we get started, I would highly recommend you guys grab your camera, maybe even grab a notebook if you want to. I'm gonna have a lot of things up here on the screen for you guys to you know, screen grab and whatnot, but it's always good to have you know, some type of note-taking device as we go through some of the talking points in today's video. And for those of you who are brand new to this channel, man, consider hitting that subscribe button down below and also dropping a like if you find some value in today's video. But with that said, you guys, let's go ahead and just get started and let's talk a little bit about zone focusing. I made a video about a year and a half ago talking about how you can master uh, manual focus by zone focusing for street photography. And if you guys haven't watched that video already, I will be leaving links in the description below. Uh, and that video is essentially just a beginner's guide to how to uh, zone focus, really. And zone focusing, even though it's a very simple concept, it can be a little confusing. Now, for those of you guys who remember, I did a photo project called Crosswalk, and one of the images in there was of the bike lady. Uh, basically, there's a street performer and then there was a biker who just popped a wheelie right in front of her and caught a sub for him. That was all done through zone focusing and zone focusing basically eliminates you from having to really set your focus uh, before taking images, which is great for street photography because a lot of what street photography is is just reactionary. So you got to react to a scene and if you can set your camera up before you even make a photograph and just know you're going to get it in focus, uh, it's going to save you a lot of time and a lot of hassle uh, from having to really fiddle around and try to focus on moving subjects. So next point on, we're going to be talking about my three point system. And this is really the main premise for today's video. Um, the three point system goes as follows. You want to be able to set three predetermined focus points on your lens before you start shooting. And you really want to make this super simple and very easy for you to understand. So you're going to have short focus for really close subjects, subjects that are going to be, you know, within a one to three foot range. Then you're going to have your median focus, which is essentially going to be whatever you're comfortable at in terms of shooting distances. So if you're comfortable with being able to photograph subjects out maybe four feet away, that is going to be your median range. You want to find that uh, and uh, really just try your best to figure out what's most comfortable for you. Lastly is going to be infinity focus. Uh, and infinity focus, of course, if there's something super far away, infinity focus. Now, how does that translate over into our camera? Well, it's very, very simple. And this is kind of why I recommend, uh, you know, if you are zone focusing that you do with rangefinder lenses because you have something called a focus tab here on the bottom. All right, you guys, before we move on, I'd like to thank our sponsor for today's video, Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. Now, building your own website has never been easier, and being that you're a photographer, it should be an absolute essential. Squarespace offers tons of unique designs and templates that allow you to pretty much get started in minutes, and if you've been thinking about starting a photography blog, this is the perfect opportunity to get started with one. Squarespace has powerful blogging tools that allow you to share photos, videos, and create content that you want to make all wrapped up in elegant designs that you can categorize, share, and schedule. Head over to squarespace.com slash kingjapes for 10% off of your first purchase of a domain or website, or use promo code kingjapes at checkout for 10% off your first purchase of a domain or a website. And the focus tab essentially is going to allow you to have a visible marker um, without even you know having to really look at your lens. So in terms of focus points, 
our first one we talked about it it's going to be short focus now my short focus is all the way to the left this focus tab here can be moved left to right and that's the benefit of shooting with rangefinder lenses you're going to generally have a lot more of a shorter focus throw but again this works on slrs as well but the tab here is all the way to the left now this is considered my short focus so all the way to the left my lens will only focus down to about two and a half feet which is going to be considered again my close focus so i know for a fact that if i have a subject walking really close and i need to be able to focus quickly uh, i can just throw my lens all the way over to the left and i know that if they're within two and a half feet but you know if we're zone focusing regardless of what it is they're still going to be an acceptable focus next up we have median focus and this is generally where i like to keep my lens about 95 percent of the time actually i recommend that you do this at the start start with your lens in the median mode and then just shift left or right when needed uh, but right dead center of the focus tab is 1.2 meters or just about four feet and uh, i don't know if you guys can see that right here but uh, just having it there dead center or just pre-focusing on the top looking at your scale to four feet that is just my median range. That's where I'm comfortable photographing people. Uh, and it's just gonna make your life super easy because now when you're zone focusing, your camera essentially turns into a point and shoot. And so you don't really need to focus anymore knowing that you're about four feet away from your subjects and you're gonna get them in razor sharp focus. But if I'm shooting at like F16 again, I have all that range in between and flexibility. So that's why I say you never really have to worry about focusing with zone focusing if you're using the three point system. Lastly is gonna be our infinite focus, which is just gonna be all the way to the right. Now, as you guys can see, it's very, very simple. My lens is always at 1.2 meters or four feet, right dead center. And that's just where I'm comfortable shooting. And so if somebody's about five or six feet away, they're gonna be in focus. If somebody's around, you know, three feet away, they're gonna be in focus. I don't even need to touch my lens. It's already set. As long as my f-stop is anywhere up above f8, I'm fine. Now, if somebody comes really close, again, folks, we're just gonna go to position one. That's our close focus. And then after I make that photograph, I always reposition it back to my median focus point. Um, and I think this is essential. I think this is really important to understand because you always want to bring it back to your median focus. And if something is super far away and I want to capture it, maybe it's like a nice landscape, all I got to really do, folks, is just push my lens to the right. It's that simple. So the whole entire idea is going to be focusing around having those three set points to pretty much cover all of your focusing needs. Rather than having to sit there and, you know, fiddle around and try to get this, you know, in focus while subjects are moving. I can just do something like this, bam, take a photograph. Oh crap, I have film here. <laughs> or, okay, reset, all right, nice. Oh, somebody's infinity, okay, boom. All the way to the right. Okay, back to uh, 1.2 meters, four feet, perfect. Somebody's just right in my range, bam. I can already make that photograph. And you really don't need to adjust your lens unless it's gonna be for close or infinite focus. And that's the beauty of zone focusing. You really eliminate a lot of the stress that you put on yourself just trying to focus so for those of you guys who always ask how street photographers can nail focus very quickly most of the time it's because they're utilizing their hyperfocal scales and zone focusing so definitely try this tip out i hope you guys enjoyed it man uh, let me know in the comment section down below if you guys have any questions comments or concerns and again drop a like or subscribe if this video has brought value to you so thank you guys so much for tuning in and i'll see you guys in the next one as always minolta gang Whew.